good friends we can Let's be. give it a try, come on! Let's go, 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 and we'll start a commotion. Set friendship in motion. Set friendship in motion. Set friendship in motion. Percy and the Earl's Party The Christmas season was always a busy time for the engines on Sodor. Engines always puff up and down the lines to their destinations on time. The Earl was preparing his yearly Christmas party at Ulfstead Castle. The engines enjoyed helping out with the party. There was a big feast, the brass band playing, and even a special surprise. One evening, just a few days before the party, Sir Topham Hatt came to visit Tidmouth Sheds. We are all going to be very busy for the holidays. Yes, sir. Please, sir. We always are, sir. Quite so, Percy. But this year, there will be extra trains with guests attending the Earl's Christmas party. The engines were excited. Daisy is to bring visitors up from Harwick, Thomas from Farquhar on board Annie and Clarabel, Gordon and Rebecca from Vickerstown, Henry from all the stations across the main line, James from Brendam, Toby and Henrietta from Ulfstead, and so on. What about me, sir? How can I help? You will be needed to make sure things run smoothly at Wellsworth, Percy. You're to help Edward in the yard to keep the trucks in order. Yes, sir. Percy was very disappointed. He wanted to be useful and help out with the party. Staying in the yard sounded rather dull. On the day of the Earl's party, everyone was very busy collecting all of the guests. Thomas and his coaches were picking up all of the guests at Farquhar. The sky looked rather dark and threatening. I hope the party doesn't get cancelled from a snowstorm. Come on, Thomas. We mustn't dawdle. We have to pick up Sir Topham Hatt at Wellsworth on the way. He's preparing a special treat. Uh, right. Um, come along, come along. <laughs> Meanwhile, Percy was keeping busy at Wellsworth Yards, but he was still disappointed. Edward could see that Percy wasn't happy. Cheer up, Percy. I'm sure Sir Topham Hatt will give you something special for the holidays. You're still a big credit to the railway, and helping me out here with the trucks is still a big help. Percy smiled and then carried on just as Thomas pulled into the station. Lots of people climbed aboard Annie and Clarabel. Sir Topham Hatt was on the platform with a special briefcase. As soon as the guard blew the whistle, Thomas set off for Ulfstead Castle. As they were making their way along the line, the sky grew darker. That snow won't hold off much longer. Thomas arrived safely at Ulfstead Castle just as the other engines were dropping off their passengers. So glad you could make it, Sir Topham, and in good time, too. Yes, indeed. I hope I have everything I need for the big surprise later on. As the passengers stepped onto the platform, Sir Topham Hatt suddenly realized something. My case! Has anyone seen my case? Was it brown by any chance? There was a case left on the platform just as we pulled out of Wellsworth. Oh no! My special surprise for the party was in that case! Everything is ruined! Could Thomas go back and fetch it, perhaps? Wait, perhaps Daisy could pick it up on the way. Oh no, this is a disaster! Just then, an idea flew into Thomas's funnel. What about Percy? I don't suppose he would mind leaving the work at Wellsworth Yards for a bit. Well done, Thomas. Why didn't I think of it before? A splendid idea indeed, Thomas. Well done! Sir Topham Hatt went to telephone the station master at Wellsworth, and the station master then came to see Percy. Big flakes of snow soon began to fall. Sir Topham Hatt has left his briefcase and needs it for the party. Please hurry along to Ulfstead Castle. Right away, sir. 
Percy was quickly fitted with a snowplow and he soon made his way. Be careful, Percy, and good luck! Thanks, Edward! Several minutes had passed, and there was still no sign of Percy. It's no use. Thanks for the idea, Thomas, but I'm afraid the party will have to do without the surprise. Oh. 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 Wait, was that? No, it can't be. It's Percy. Percy pulled into the castle grounds, tired but triumphant. <sighs> I'm not late, am I? <laughs> not at all, Percy. You got here just in time. Well done, Percy. Hurrah! Splendid! Now, Percy, since you helped me out of a huge predicament, I've a special assignment just for you. <laughs> That evening, Thomas and the other engines had all gathered for the Earl's Christmas party, but Percy was nowhere to be seen. Gordon, have you seen Percy anywhere? I haven't seen Percy all evening. Shh, quiet you two. The Earl's got an announcement to make. Ladies, gentlemen, and children, I give you three cheers for Sir Topham Hatt's engines for making this special occasion possible. And as a special way to show my gratitude, I have a special surprise for you all. And here it is now! Percy pulled gently, pulling a coach, and on board was the greatest surprise of all, Sir Topham Hatt dressed as Father Christmas himself! Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Everyone clapped and cheered for Father Christmas's entry. It's busy times like these that you all prove that you can be responsible, reliable, and really useful engines. I am very proud of you all. There were gifts and parcels for all of the children in the engines. Everyone was happy, but Percy was the happiest of all for being such a big help for the celebration. A Merry Christmas to you all! <laughs> <laughs>